All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to talk about Errol Spence Jr. Camp shooting a message out there about what's going on with the champ and how people are most definitely overreacting to what has taken place in the fight with Errol Spence with Terrence Crawford. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. In this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division where got a message from Errol Spence Jr.'s camp that I really want to share with you because it is just, you know, good positive news in the for Errol Spence Jr. fans and other people that want to know how Errol Spence Jr. is doing, seeing as there's all this speculation about him being in all kind of trouble. Uh, but before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, Thank you so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot, especially during these times where there's not a lot of really big fights going on. We just had. All right. Look, got to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, Boxing Showtime's app. And I want to introduce you to this really great app for really for hardcore boxing fans that want to know everything that's going on in boxing. It's a very accessible app right in your hands that you are able to see all of the upcoming fights, all of the upcoming fights uh, that are around uh, your your neighborhood, the ones that are going on at bars near you, um, boxing updates, boxing news, boxing profiles, tales of the tape, boxing tickets, official highlights, official replays. You got a dark mode if that's how you like to look at your screen, a bar locator, everything that you need to be uh, to allow you the most access possible and information possible for the sport that we love. Also. There's a promotional code that you can use Fanon box at Fanon that will allow you to have access to the premium features of the of the app, uh, as well as a 14 day trial for the premium features of that app. Very inexpensive uh, uh, monthly fee. So make sure you guys go check that out. Does support the channel. Thank you. We just had, it's now August 11th. Uh, we're about halfway through the month of August. So, you know, we're about a month and a half past the mid portion of the year. The first, just like in 2022, the first half of the year was absolutely off the chain. Uh, first half of this year has been off the chain because Showtime Boxing has really been holding it down for the sport. <laughs> and but now we're going into the second half of the year. We should still have some good fights coming up. Jermel Charlo versus uh, Canelo Alvarez. Um, we have uh, man, I think we're going to have Devin Haney and and uh, and Regis Progray over there on the zone. We've got some other fights coming up. I've, and then one of the big fights we still have coming up more than likely is going to be the rematch between Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford that a lot of people are saying that they don't want to see because they're saying, hey, man, it was too lopsided last time. You actually have people out there on Twitter saying, hey, how about we get Gervonta Davis and, Ter and, um, and Terrence Crawford and not Errol Spence Jr. and Gervonta Davis? And I thought to myself when I read that, Man, y'all are real, real, real desperate to get these PBC stars out of box and saying something like that. That is absolutely positively ridiculous. There ain't no way in the world Gervonta Davis is about to go up to 147 to go fight Terrence Crawford. And matter of fact, it's to me, it just seems like a narrative that is being put out there just to make just to try to make Gervonta Davis look like a duck artist or something. If he's not willing to go up two weight classes and fight a guy that is that much bigger than him, that is that dang good. It's just absolutely ridiculous. However, the fight we're definitely going to get is the Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford rematch. And that is going to take at place at 154. And some people like Roy Jones Jr. says that it should take place at 160 and he should take a fight between that. But 
What does Errol Spence Jr. have to say about it? And what does his camp have to say about it? I did get a message when I reached out to their camp, just wanted to say, hey, man, you know, I hope everything's good. You know, da, 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 da. Just a perfunctory message that anybody can send to these guys because they're on Twitter, they're on Instagram, no special connection in this regard. But I got a response back and they said, look, telling you, oh, don't worry, hey, OG, uh, Errol Spence Jr., Errol's built different and we gonna be back and shining just like we were before. I'm paraphrasing what was said. However, the emotion was good. And I'm telling you, man, I have a sneaking suspicion. This is just me. And by this time, I'm just telling you, I don't really give a fat rat what you guys say about whatever you want to say. <laughs> because there's a lot of people that don't buy pay-per-views that got a lot to say about fights. All right, let me just cut to that for a second. There's a whole lot of y'all that want to talk about your guy winning, but you don't want to pay the money to actually buy the fight. Because there's no way in the world that fight should have done 650,000 pay-per-views if all you Terrence Crawford fans who are doing all this bumping of the lips would have actually bought the fight and not and not um, and not stole the fight, streamed the fight, or did whatever you did to get that fight without actually having to come up off the money for that fight. But that said, um, uh, Errol Spence Jr. is going to take the rematch. And I just had a feeling looking back on everything that was said during the press conference and all that, that Errol kind of knew what was going on. Uh, and you could kind of hear him foreshadowing some things in the lead into the fight, like where he said uh, there was a point in time in the where they faced off and Errol said, uh, Terrence Carver said, yeah, man, we get to make history. And Errol said, yeah, and we get to make bank. And Errol said, yeah, so thank you. Thank me for making this fight, right? I think Errol knew and those guys knew that his that he was not all the way there uh, heading into that fight. I think that's why you saw some of the aggression uh, out of um, unusual amount of aggression out of Derrick James uh, when he was talking to Bo Mack uh, in the lead into that fight. So, but they feel like, hey man, they, they're they gonna be in a good position uh, for the next fight. Now, I've not heard anybody actually talk about them winning the next fight. I think what they wanna do, uh, let me not say what they wanna do. I think that what what I would suspect will happen is a better performance in the second fight than there was in the first fight. Uh, either that is because of him being able to be at his full weight. Also, the fact, even provided he didn't take too much damage in the first fight, that he actually had a fight. And so even though that fight might have been bad, he may have got the all of the, the rust knocked off of him. <laughs> and also, he knows what to expect in the next fight that he has. However, obviously, because of the way that the first fight happened, I'll favor Terrence Crawford to win the fight. Um, however, Errol Spence Jr. most definitely can come back out and have a very successful story in redeeming himself to himself. Not talking about redeeming himself to boxing fans and all of that, because he's given people everything that they've asked for of him his entire career to his own detriment. Not taking tune-ups, right? Not taking tune-ups when he should be taking tune-ups. Um, staying active when he's not being active, trying to make championship fights when he should be. But at the end of the day, in that last fight, the better man on that night won, which is Terrence Crawford. Uh, however, Errol Spence Jr., as you can see with the different posts that he's putting out on uh, on Instagram and on Twitter, is out on vacation, set his head up. He got his got his holding his head up like a nosebleed and his camp saying, nah, man, we built different. Believe me, we coming back and we're going to look better than we're going to look better than ever. Again, that's me paraphrasing, not telling you exactly what they said. Um, but at the end of the day, man, I think boxing is definitely going to be the winner because we're going to get more big fights. Now, here's the bad thing about all of this stuff is that if is that uh, taking that level of chance and this is Air Arrow was willing to take this level of chance. What is Terrence Crawford going to do? Terrence Crawford is not going to take those levels of chances at, at coming out of this fight. That's why you're not seeing him get in there with Jerron Ennis. Or why you're gonna not going to see him fight Canelo Alvarez above a catch weight of 158, even though I don't think he's Canelo Alvarez is going to fight him anyway because of the Jermel Charlo fights. Um, I don't think that you're going to see a lot of people taking risks. 
because for Arrow, that risk didn't pay off. And that, especially when you talk about the way that people talk, how bad people are talking about him and how bad people are talking about the PBC and the fact that they stole that fight, that's the one thing that Terrence Crawford was right about is people were not going to buy that fight because they were stealing because people are stealing fights. But I still maintain a lot of that has to do with Terrence Crawford fans not be not being willing to pay for those fights because Terrence went so long in his career without providing people that level of fight. And they're used to getting his fights on ESPN, ESPN plus where they didn't have to pay for it, where they just had to have an ESPN uh, subscription. But at the end of the day, we'll see what happens next. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.